Okay, so we get a lot of questions on how can I get my clownfish to host an anemone. Well, contrary to popular opinion, not all clownfish host all anemones. These species of clownfish in the wild only host a handful of anemone types. Some of them, like common and percular clowns, only host two or three types of anemone in the wild, whereas some, like clarkies and maroons, will host a wider selection of anemones. However, this does make it tricky because most people keep common or percular clowns and these are some of the hardest ones to pair with anemones. In the wild, they predominantly just stay in Magnifica or Ritteri anemones or Marlows. Marlows are manageable to keep in an aquarium, but they require quite low flow and quite high light, whereas most modern reef aquariums tend to be quite high flow and quite low light, so it can be difficult to get them to adapt to an aquarium. Ritteri or Magnifica anemones are quite difficult to keep in captivity. They come from deeper water and are more sensitive to varying water conditions. They also have to be quite large, this is a bit more expensive to buy. And uh, they're a little bit more sensitive and with their stonk, strong stings they can be a threat to other tank inhabitants. Generally though most clowns in captivity will host into bubble tip nems or long tentacle anemones. Bubble tip nems are the easier ones to get them to host into. But bubble tips sometimes do brilliantly and sometimes do not so well. Long tentacle anemones are much easier to keep and come in a wide variety of colours and small ones can grow rapidly to quite a good size. So that would be my favourite choice. You can get a wide variety of colours for long tentacle anemones and they're very easily maintained. I'm sure you have a fine sand bed and feed it a couple of times a week and it should grow quite nicely. Ensure that the anemone is in width across the base of the foot at least three times the size of the adult female clown. Uh, if, the, if the anemone is too small, they're less likely to host it, and if they do host it, they're more likely to damage the anemone or irritate it to the point where it closes up. Clownfish will sometimes host an anemone happily with um, anemone shrimps or anemone crabs as well if the anemone is large enough, but in a smaller anemone, they probably want it all to themselves. Make sure you check out our other videos for other handy tips on reef aquariums.